Trip Search is an extension for WP Travel Engine that provides a one-step trip search engine to search trips by destination, activities, duration, and budget on your travel website. Fixed Trip Starting Dates is another extension for WP Travel Engine that adds fixed starting dates for a trip. If the add-on is added, then trip can also be searched according to the trip starting dates. In this video, I will show you how to configure trip search add-on step by step. Please note that the trip search requires WP Travel Engine plugin installed. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Since trip search is now part of WP Travel Engine, you do not require to install and activate the add-on separately. So, we will just configure it. To configure trip search extension, go to WP Travel Engine, then go to Settings and click on it. Go to Extensions. And here is the trip search settings. In our site on the front end, on the trip page on the left hand side, these are the trip search sections which you can enable and disable with the help of trip search settings here. Here is the destination if you wish to hide it. You can enable to hide destination. Click on save and continue. Go back to the trips page. Give it a refresh. And the destinations will not be shown here anymore. Similarly, let's go back. You will see the options to hide activities and duration. You simply have to enable the toggles. Click on save and continue. Come back to your site. Here are the activities and here is the duration. Now, if you give your trip page a refresh, they will not be shown here anymore. Let's go back. The next option is hide budget. I will come back to this in a while. Let me just enable all of the other sections by disabling the toggles. Click on save and continue. Let's go back and give it a refresh and they will appear here once again. Now, if you want to hide all of these sections at once with a single click, then you can also do that. Just go back to the dashboard. Then you have to enable the hide in search page filter by section. Click on save and continue. Let's go back to the trip page. Give it a refresh and it will hide the search filter altogether. Let's go back and we will disable to hide in search page in order to enable the search page filter by section. Click on save and continue. Let's go back to the trip page. Give it a refresh and the search filter section will be displayed once again. Now, if you go over to the home page, you will see the budget section. If you want to disable this, go back to the admin dashboard and you have to enable to hide budget. Click on save and continue. Let's go back, give it a refresh and the budget section will not be shown here anymore in the home page. Let's go back. We will disable to hide the budget. Click on save and continue, come back to the site, give it a refresh, which will display the budget section once again. Now, apart from this, if the trip fix starting dates add-on is added, you can also choose fix starting dates filter to exclude from the search. Let's go back to our dashboard. I will go to plugins, click on add new, and I will just upload the trip fix starting dates add-on plugin. Click on choose file, select the zip file and click on open. Click on install now, then click on activate plugin. The drift fix starting dates add-on has now been added successfully. Now let's go back to our site and we will go to the trip page once again. And in the search filter, you will also find fix starting date section. With the help of this, your customers will be able to search for the trips on the basis of trip fix starting dates.
Also, after installing and activating the Drifix starting dates add-on, if you go to your home page, you will see the fixed starting dates filter is shown in the search section. If you wish to hide it, then you'll have to go back to the dashboard. Go to WP Travel Engine, go to settings once again, go to extensions. Then from under trip search, you will find one more option that is to hide the fixed starting dates. If you enable this option, click on save and continue. Go back and give your site a refresh. That section will not be shown anymore. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Or even better, you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. If you are liking our videos so far, please give us a like, share and subscribe. Please help us grow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.